going to work on my 2015 December art journal tonight. My candle is getting burnt down pretty, pretty low. It won't be long and I'll need to put another candle in there. I'm going to set it over here while I'm working. If I can put it just a little bit so that you can watch. I might have to move that. What I'm going to work on today are two things. I said I wasn't going to do much to this inside cover. Well, <laughs> I'm not. But I was going through my stash and I found these tulip rub-ons. Now these are three or four years old. I believe I got them at Walmart. I think I got them on sale. And I'm just hoping... I'm just hoping that they have enough of the rub on yet that I'm going to put three of them on here and I have this piece of gold paper that well gold <laughs> but it's left over from doing one of my other projects and I thought that this maroon angel would go really nice on there and then I'll find some wording and I'm just gonna make another tag I want this video to be fairly short, so I'll probably go into fast forward for a bit, and then I'll come back and explain to you what else I'm going to be doing. Thing that I've been doing is of course my Christmas reading and my Christmas stories and I finished this book it's all about the true Saint Nicholas you may be surprised to know the true Saint Nicholas you'll never again think of Santa Claus in quite the same way now I want to document that I read this book this year without tearing the book apart because I want to save the book but I think what I'll do is remove the book cover and I think that what I'm going to do is write on the inside of this book cover so you're going to see me doing that but before I do that what I'm going to do is stamp I believe <laughs> Friday, December 11, 2015. Hello, dear friends who watch my videos at the Mary Atelier. This evening, a nice Friday evening in December, I thought I would take a quiet moment and write a quick letter. 
Of course, this letter will be stored away in my 2015 December Art Journal, along with the rest of the December art that I am creating this month. I want to tell you about the book I finished reading this week, The True Story of St. Nicholas by William J. Bennett. It is a wonderful story about Santa Claus, The True Story of St. Nicholas. No, I'm not going to give away the storyline. I would encourage you to find the book and read it for yourself. It is a delightful read. And, as the book jacket says, you will not look at Santa Claus in the same way. You ask if I believe in Santa Claus? Well, I don't believe I ever remember writing a letter to Santa Claus at the North Pole. My childhood memory of Santa is one evening before Christmas he would ride in on the back of a fire truck and pass out bags of candy, popcorn, and an orange. I don't think I ever remember sitting on Santa's lap at the local department store and telling him my dearest wishes for Christmas gifts, but I do remember a treasured greeting card with a blue base and Santa and his reindeer flying over the rooftops. I loved that card. It was mailed to me by my Aunt Irene, who lived in Colorado that year. I still have that card. When I was in high school, I remembered that I was assigned the role of playing Mrs. Santa in an English class play. Well, something just struck me awfully funny about Mary playing the real Mrs. Santa Claus. I think I might have momentarily stopped that play I laughed so much. This book about the true story of St. Nicholas is, like I said, a delightful read, and I'm really glad that I sat down in my comfy chair and read it this year. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Mary at the Mary Atelier, Friday, December 11th, 2015.